So Eloise, firstly, um, how excited are you to be joining the Rhinos? Incredibly, I actually don't think I can find the words. I've literally come home from every session, like smiling and buzzing. My parents have literally just seen how happy I am. And how's the move come about to um, switch into to lead? Um, so I'm really good friends with a couple of the league girls who also played Union. Um, I've grown up playing Union with them and I've kind of watched them play league recently. Um, I've seen a lot of the finals on the on the TV and kind of kept up following it. I just thought that's something I want to try and I want to be a part of. Um, so I literally contacted Lois and that was it. Um, she was really keen to me come down and have a trial. That, here we are. So this is this is your first time playing rugby league. Um, what are you hoping to get out of that in terms of your own development? Um, well, I'm just hoping to uh, improve my contact skills and take that back into union so I can hit harder. Um, but at the same time, see where Lee can take me. Um, I've really enjoyed playing with the Leeds girls so far um, and just seeing how far we can get. You know, hopefully we can go into the grand final and, and get some silverware with them and, and uh, cheer on the girls who play for England. You've had a few training sessions with the girls. How have you found it so far? Oh, amazing. I think the girls are an unreal group of girls. You, you, couldn't, you couldn't find a more welcoming group. They're, they're all so funny and crazy in their own way, but they're all also so talented. Um, I think moving from league to union is a lot harder than people think in the sense of the rules and, you know, different uh, moves and things. And the girls have kind of just pulled me aside every now and then and they've given you like a little tip or a little hint. And it's been, without them realising, so comforting and, and, and helpful. Um, so, yeah, the girls are just an amazing bunch. And can you just tell us a little bit about your background, how you started playing rugby in the first, the first place and um, what you've been doing over the last few years? Um, so my dad was a coach of the Royal Navy, um, so when we lived down in Portsmouth, and my mum's a, a nurse, so she would work weekends, and my dad obviously coached the Navy side, and he was sick of this, like, three, four-year-old running up and down his touchlines, terrorising him, so um, he just used to chuck me a ball and make me kind of go over there, and that was it, um, I've kind of just played ever since, um, got got put into an under-five side, and then um, my dad coached me every country we moved to, so with the Navy, we travelled around, we moved uh, to Oman, to Dubai, to Australia, and I've kind of had those opportunities to play out there. And every kind of club I moved to, my dad's come with me and been my coach. Um, and then we moved back to England and I kind of came up the up the ranks at West Park Leeds um, playing Union. Got picked up, played for Yorkshire, played for North England. And then that's when kind of um, I played some England Sevens and um, went away to Hartbury College and um, did my A-levels, played for Gloucester in the Premiership and um, just progressed from there. I got... Um, into the Saracens uh, women's side and moved on and played England Sevens. Um, so yeah, just uh, <laughs> a whistle stop to all my rugby career. <laughs> and what What are your parents thinking? See, giving a rugby, giving rugby league a go. Have, have you followed this the sport growing up? Yeah, my dad's a massive rugby league fan. Um, so he's he's really supporting it and he's all for it. And I've always kind of watched the NRL and, and the Super League in our household. It's kind of been, I think my dad being a Northern man, it's always been the main sport for him to watch. So um, it's been a it's been a really good one. But they're all excited for the opportunities. And I think they're very excited to watch, wear some lead stash and stand in the crowd. Just looking ahead then, what are your ambitions in, in both codes of rugby? Um, well, I hope to... I hope to be one of these. Uh, I, don't, I don't want it to be uh, too much of a big dream, but trying to be uh, an international on both codes. I think that'd be really cool to be a dual coder. So uh, going on and playing in a World Cup for England 15s in the union side, but to then, you know, go on and play for England in rugby league would be amazing as well. And it'd be, I'd be grateful for both opportunities. And to then sit back one day when I'm uh, great and old and can probably not walk that very well from rugby, but look at medals and say, do you know what? I've, I've played for my country in both codes, I think that would be unreal. And, and away from rugby, what is it that you do? Um, are you studying at the moment? Yeah, so I study biomedical science at university. Um, and with that, hoping to to go on and either join the military or go into the, the kind of science world. Um, so I currently um, am looking at maybe progressing and studying medicine in the future. Um, but at the moment, I'm just really enjoying my rugby career and, and the struggles of trying to get a university degree at the same time. <laughs> Big game coming up this weekend. Are you hoping to be involved in your first oh, ever? Yeah, yeah, most definitely. I'm. Uh, I enjoy cheering the girls on from the sidelines and uh, you know, and wishing them well. But I really am itching to get on that pitch. Last weekend against Bradford, I was just sitting there and thinking, God, I want to be on there with them. So I'm really hoping to to pull a shirt on this weekend and uh, give it a good go with the girls and walk away with the win.